Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the ASUS PA32UCX. That's a complicated way to say um, mini LEDs or in the screen. So the two special things about them, I can actually make it three special things, but it the third one's linked to the second one. But the how how it works basically this this screen has HDR but not any ordinary HDR HDR 1000 which is basically as bright as the sun and Dolby Vision which basically is just the cleanest detail that you can see on the objects if you're just watching something so the thing about the third thing I was going to say about this monitor, this is the first monitor I at least heard of that uses mini, mini LEDs as the lighting source. So basically what it means by that, there's like a thousand LEDs behind the monitor powering the HDR factor so it can basically reach a thousand. So now we're going to be unboxing this. So I I want to break down everything I've seen from top to bottom. So the first thing you would normally see here is this thing. What this thing is, it's optional if you want to put this on the top of your monitor or if you don't want it so like um, light doesn't gleam on your monitor as much. I'm gonna put that here. Then normally over here, at least this is what my dad told me, you would get like manuals of how everything operates. I guess you get the juice. So if you're confused of anything or how this thing works, you can just check over here and find a manual in this or this. So then, you remove this, this is, uh, probably important now to um, tell you what this monitor is. It's our old monitor, which this monitor is now replacing. So over here, actually, you, know, you would see the stand, some cable, and the actual monitor itself. It's actually quite shorter than I thought it would be, because on the cover art, it shows the stand to be like, the TV screen to be like so much bigger than the stand and the stand so big but the TV is actually pretty short, short I don't know if it was the photographers um, shooting of the thing that made it be like that so yeah I think we're gonna look at the stand first um, I'm just gonna say this one thing about the stand it's very heavy so what the stand looks like, the stand looks like, um, to my point of view, that um, you be, it's a pretty good stand, it feels like, to be honest. But from my point of view, it looks like you have to put the monitor on here because I think I can see a little magnet there which can activate, it's like moving the head because if I try to move the head, it does not move, but I've seen people easily move their head with ease, so that's what I see. Right, so over here. And now on the monitor, how am I going to take this out exactly? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, lots of static. Oh, no, I don't think you can. I'm going to move the box over here. For easier Now, I might need a little bit of a hand over here. Okay, so that was much harder than we thought. It's definitely pretty heavy. And I recommend you to do this with two people, or if you're just by yourself, just put your foot on the thing as you pull it out because this thing sticks to the box. But what we also noticed was this. Basically what happens um, over time with screens, this happens with most screens, the 
it just decalibrates itself. The screen's already calibrated, but over time it will decalibrate slowly by slowly. But this thing you place on the screen to basically auto recalibrate it to factory settings, basically making sure that it's the same all the time. But also, to be honest, the screen is pretty big. It's 32 inches in length, which is 81.03 centimeters, if I'm correct. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.